to show you guys how to make zoodles. So it's really easy. I'm only going to make two zucchinis. You can make as many as you want. Um, the first step is to always wash your zucchinis well. When cutting, you want to cut off the ends. So just a little bit on both. And then what I usually do is I cut it down the middle first. And most people, some people have a machine to do this. I don't have a machine, so I'm going to do it by hand and I'm going to show you. So once you cut it in half, you hold it firmly. You just very slowly, try not to rush, cut about two centimeters deep and then turn it around. You want to make sure that they're all of equal proportion because if some noodles are thicker than others, when you do cook, it will um, cook unevenly and some will become mushier than others. So this is a process that I would recommend practicing. After you've cut all your pieces and you have all lengthwise um, zucchinis, you're going to take a bowl and we're going to just slowly cut however you'd like your shapes to be. Like you could do a thick noodle, you could do a very thin. I like thin, so I'm gonna show you how I, about a few centimeters, and I have long spaghetti noodle So now that I cut all of the zucchinis, I actually only used one, which gave me all of this, which is a good amount for one person. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna season them now. So here in this plate, I have a half a teaspoon of salt, a fourth of a teaspoon of pepper, and I wanna say like a pinch of paprika, so less than a fourth of a spoon of paprika. And I'm just gonna put it all on the noodles. And I'm just going to incorporate it and mix it until you see that each zucchini has seasoning. Okay, so now that these are nice seasoned, we're ready to start sauteing and adding our sauce and then we'll be ready. During this step now, you want to heat a pan uh, big enough to saute and um, what you're gonna do is, you're gonna take a little bit of vegetable oil or canola oil or any lighter type of oil, and you're just gonna put it in the pan. So here I have about two tablespoons, just a little bit. We're gonna let that get nice and hot. The pan is hot, I'm gonna throw in my zucchini. And we're gonna just lightly saute it just to get out all of the water from the zucchini. Once you see that the zucchini has become like nice and translucent and nice and soft, and that the oil kind of like fried out the natural waters from the zucchini, that's when you can pour in your sauce. So I have homemade tomato sauce that I had made. Um, you can use any sauce, but um, homemade is always nice. And if you want to make this spicy, you could add some um, red hot uh, pepper flakes, which gives it a nice zest. I would add it at this point. So I'm going to put in the sauce slowly. And then I'm going to slowly stir everything up. So it didn't take that long. It was probably like a total of four minutes uh, sauteing and then with the sauce. So now it's ready. I put it in a bowl. You could um, eat it just the way it is. You could add some Parmesan cheese. You can make grilled shrimp. You can make grilled chicken. 
uh, for protein. It's really good. You actually trick yourself and you think you're eating pasta when you're really not. You're eating zucchini. So it's really healthy if you're doing any kind of special diet that is gluten-free. This is a really nice alternative.